Hello, this is Dr. Handley at handleyinnovations.com. Today I would like to talk about how to analyze a passenger car using Stallion 3D with Hist. We are going to start with the driver model. This is a, an experimental car model for which we have data such as the lift, drag and a number of other parameters so that we can verify our analysis. To start, we import a um, model as an STL file. The next step is to size the model. That way we can get the exact dimensions from which we can calculate the lift and the drag and the moments. Once the model is imported, we can look at it um, in 3D um, using the Stallion 3D um, visualization menu. And we click um, on the option just to look at the geometry only. And we see this is the, is the full driver model with the full on the body. And this also includes the mirrors and uncovered wheels. The next step is to import or actually um, set the velocity, the speed of the model, and also to um, set a reference area so that we can calculate the lift and drag um, coefficients and compare them with the experiment. Next, we set up the CFD. We set the number of cells to 2 million. And we also set the aspect ratio of those cells to correspond to the problem. That is, we are solving a car in ground effect. So we set the aspect ratio to optimize the solution. The next step is to just click on the menu to um, generate the grid and solve the flow. And that's all it takes to set up this model in Stallion 3D. We now see we have a RANS solution, a Reynolds Average Navier-Stokes solution of this model. The first flow parameter we are looking at is the flow velocity. And we can see the surface velocity and in the RAND solution, we're using a wall function. So basically, because it's a relatively high speed flow, we are seeing the flow um, velocity in the first cell um, um, of the boundary layer. So, um, and we can see um, on, the cut, on the plane that we have a, a boundary layer of the center lines car. And we see also the flow in the wake um, of the car. We can also look at another parameter. We can look at the pressure. And to do that, um, we click on the visualization menu. And here we now see the pressure on the surface of the car. If we turn the car to look on the on the side, on the, on the body, we can see that the program um, resolved um, the complexity of the on the body um, automatically, and so this also counts into the solution, and we did not have to spend time um, gridding that. Next step, we go back to look at the velocity, and this gives us uh, another look at the flow around the car, we again see the wake at the um, the back of the car, the rear of the car. We also could zoom in in the on the body, and we see that the flow in this on the body is is very resolved and is quite an accurate um, solution um, without the time needed to generate a, de um, a grid. Now we look at the lift, drag, and moment coefficients, and we can see that these coefficients 
are well within a few percentage of the actual experiment. Now, because we use an actual model size and 70 miles an hour speed, we can now calculate the actual drag of this model, which is 82 pounds. For more information, please call us at 352-240-3658 or visit us at handyinnovations.com. Thanks for watching.